Well, good afternoon or good morning or good evening or good grief. My name is Willie Lawson and this is FightBackMedia.com. Uh, I really um, am appreciative of the likes that you're giving the video that um, is about Alvin Bragg right now. It is really taking off and I appreciate it. You know, it is uh, what it isn't viral, but it's viral for me and I appreciate you for, um, you know, for subscribing. And I would appreciate it if you watch this video, if you find it um, useful, please subscribe, like, and share. We appreciate it. Um, you know, with Bud Light and some o and Hershey's and some other companies going woke, and you guys know I hate that phrase because it trivializes what's really happening, uh, and it and, and sort of makes it a, a, a meme, and I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to let people know what this actually is, what's actually going on. Hang on a second. I'm going to do this. There you go. That'll make life a little easier for you. I'm trying to uh, make sure that you know exactly what's going on. Uh, and a lot of these changes, and I've mentioned them in the videos, but I haven't gotten into a deep dive about them. And this isn't a deep dive either. This is just sort of to let you know a little bit about what's going on. Um, these companies are not getting into these battles because they feel it's the right thing to do. That's not it. There's this thing called ESG, uh, Environmental Social Governance. And there, and this has been growing over time, and it's taken. It's with everything the left does. It starts off. It gets. It gets pushed back. It changes names. It rebrands. It comes back. It gets pushed back. It changes names. It rebrands. It come back. And right now, we're dealing with something called um, environmental um, social uh, social governance, and that's what we're talking about now. One of the social factors, or some of the social factors, you can see right here. Um, make sure I put it on the screen here um, because this is the part that is the quote woke part uh, there are um, a wide range again because they never want to put themselves in, you know, in an alley there's a wide range of, of social factors to consider including uh, community engagement you can see that community engagement and responsible sourcing well, it when it comes to cell phones, but, eh, you know, uh, or, you know, anything having a lithium battery in it, or most anything having to do with slaves digging out lithium or cobalt with their hands in Africa. As long as they don't see it, it doesn't count, right? Anyway, so we have, um, we have four things going on. We have, of course, the climate change strategy. Let's see if I can, I can make this big for, bigger for you. There you go. We have the climate stra change strategy, an increase in attention to social and governance, and a transparency and, and disclosure, and a long-term ownership mindset. Now, it used to be for a very long time that all you really needed uh, in business was to be successful, right? The idea was to be successful. Um, if, the, if the consumers were happy, and the uh, and the stockholders were happy. Everybody was happy, right? Well, maybe not. Maybe there are some people who are part of the social engineering uh, group who want to say, "Oh no, companies have to be different and responsive." So, of course, this is all led by, and this is why this one is first: the climate change strategy, greater action disclosure, let everybody know what you're doing, and investment, pay more money in managing the risks of climate change. Now, if you are a business that, I don't know, I, I'll podcast on the internet, how do you control the risk of, of climate change? How do you do that? I know, by paying more for electricity. By paying more for electricity. And, and, and when you pay more for electricity, do you think that money goes to the oil company? No, not at all. It goes to where? It goes to taxes. This is where um, all these carbon credits come from. That money goes to governments, and God knows what they do with it or who they give it to. That's what that's all about. The second one, uh, real quick, is the increased attention to, to social governance. Issues like uh, DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion. All these things are figuring in. This is a convergence that you need to understand 
is happening. And, 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 it's, and these things are becoming increasingly more important. So when you hear about diversity, equity, and inclusion, that's what they're talking about. And, and they want companies, all, all companies, and not just companies that produce stuff. We're talking about banks. We're talking about um, clothing stores. We're talking about department stores. We're talking about, about hardware stores. We're talking about everything. Everybody, everybody who produces a product or a service of any type is being bombarded with um, this ESG investing trends and, and fund performance. Now, what that means is co- uh, individuals are looking, some, some individuals are, uh, are looking for an ESG score and basing their score, their investments on if the company has a high or mature ESG. Problem is that the mechanism by which to to create these scores is very new and very fluid. Transparency and disclosure. How, when, where, and why of, of ESG efforts and greater transparency around operations. Let everybody know what you're doing. Put the dude on the um, on the bottle of beer let everybody know what you're doing. Write it. Write your score in your in your quarterly and annual report. That's where this is going to. And of course, the long-term uh, ownership, my, uh, ownership mindset that continues to push these very, very same things. Now, what's happening is even more criminal than all of this. What's ha- what's, what's starting to happen is that. Hang on a second, folks. There we go. Uh, what's happening is that these companies and these investors are continuing to to grow this mindset, and there's no escaping from it. We can be mad at Bud Light. You can be mad at Hershey's. You can be mad at Airbnb or or what's the other one? That that always slip in the lesbian kiss or the homosexual kiss, always in all their ads, especially on the internet. And you wonder why? Why do they Disney? Good gosh, you wondering why did they all just autumn? It seems like in a matter of months, just all goes super woke and start embracing the transgender. LGBTQIA plus agendas because all of it's tied to ESG and DEI diversity, equity, and inclusion all of it every bit of it so just like always you wonder so Willie what can we do about it well is there one single thing you can do about it no Unless you're a big investor. It's a long term process and what and in the process you can't get bored when you don't see something happening right away. First pray. First fast and pray. First. That will lay down the groundwork for the rest of the assignment. The rest of the assignment is to and this is going to be the painful part. If you've got 401ks and the like, and you can adjust the companies that uh, your 401k is invest in, you can start move. You start doing your doing your homework and moving away from those companies that are real big in the ESG. They'll get the message. They'll get the message. They'll keep talking a big game. But they'll get the message because you who have 401ks and IRAs and the like are the main investors. That's whose money they're investing in these companies. That's whose money they're investing in these companies. The, the, these large um, firms are investing your money into these companies and in, into these causes. So start doing some investigation. Start seeing Start looking for companies that have lower ESG scores. 
and moving your retirement funds to them. Yes, you may take a slap around for a while, but it will send a huge message. It's a long-term thing. Oh, I know. And raise your damn kid yourself. Do not let society or the culture raise your children. Teach them the right things. Tell them the right things. That's how, that's how we get it done. It's, a, it's going to be a long-term and arduous process. I wish it was going to be easy. I wish I could tell you there was a simple fix. I wish I could tell you there was a person that you could elect president and everything would be fine. I wish I could tell you there was a person that you could elect mayor in your town and everything would be fine. But that's not the case. And the quicker we know that, the sooner we'll be on our way to healing. My name is Willie Lawson. This has been fightbackmedia.com. Until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody, and for goodness sakes, y'all take care of yourselves. We'll see you when we see you. Bye-bye now.